Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today, first of all, we're going to make a statement. DPMS is back. The new DPMS Panther Arms. What's new? What's different? Let's get all into it right now. All right, guys. So this is PJ Smith from the new DPMS Panther Arms. Yes. PJ, thanks for coming on and doing this. Thanks Appreciate for having me. Appreciate it. The question that we want to answer for folks out there mm -hmm. is what's new about DPMS? You know, like give a quick rundown okay. of what actually happened here. What's going on? Why is there a new DPMS Panther Arms? So when Freedom Group went out and under, they partitioned out their uh, companies. They had their subsidiaries and JJE Capital purchased DPMS in that acquisition. So we took on the brand and then I got put in charge of the DPMS line, which I'm very excited about. Kind of what's new for the new DPMS is old. So we're trying to revert back to that classic look and feel. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's first AR is back. And that's kind of our, our mantra and slogan we're going with. So you'll see some of these guns that I brought for us to play with today. They have that old look and feel. Some of them have some modern touches to them, mm -hmm. but we want to have that original heart and soul. Okay, and I think a big question for folks out there is where do they get this? Do they go online and they could buy this directly or what? Do they yeah. go to a store? How so does it it's, work now? it's not direct to consumer. You can go on our website on dpmsinc.com, check out our catalog, what we have going on. But for the most part, you're going to go to your local FFL. There are a few online retailers that do carry DPMS that you can order from, but we're trying to get this into the hands of your local FFL so that way they can sell it directly to you. So get to your dealership, and if they don't have it, tell them to contact us. We'll get them set up. That thing is probably broken. No, nothing's broken. You're nothing's fine. Not, okay, move And so obviously we've got Walter Keller of Safety Harbor Firearms here. He's our old school guy. Oh. <laughs> and then we have Babyface P here, and he's our new school guy. <laughs> well, so and we we're all shooting these guns. What do you guys think? What questions do you guys have? I, I, now that I picked it up, I mm -hmm. see why police departments in the '90s got these. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing there. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is so lightweight, yeah. and it's it's like a really nice 
sized package yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for, for clearing rooms. No, I, I well, it this makes, is cool as hell. Yeah, it makes sense. That's why more police departments are doing that now, nowadays, right? Because <laughs> you're not shooting that far, you're not shooting a far distance, and you're in close quarters, and you don't want anyone to grab onto your gun, The, the days of the, the uh, nine mil carbines are kind of out the door. Yes. Most most PDs are going Because back of these. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. But so, no, this thing's... I can't believe I'm gonna have to buy one of these. Like, I really like it's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> so no questions. I seriously no. I'm gonna go get one. This is cool as hell. Yeah. Well, Walt. So here, let's go back in time. This uh -huh. this comes from Vietnam. Yes. This is a Vietnam thing for like officers. They carried the XM 177. Different brake though. The ATF considers the original brakes to be suppressors. Oh, so they lower they okay. lower the signature by a couple three decibels, decibels. Yeah. some crazy yeah. amount, but it doesn't make any difference. But anyways, so that's where the idea of this came by the XF 177. Um, yeah, I mean they're cool as long as you're not you're not planning on doing any long range shooting and you don't have those those kind of visions. No, it's compact, it's fun, it's little. Um, I mean, I, I even like the old school carry handles that are yeah. fixed mm -hmm. on the thing permanently. So I guess you're probably going to do that too also. Yeah, we'll definitely have those available. A1s and A2s. Get full retro. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I you could, even, you could even have this without the bump. Correct. You know? But yep. let me tell you what happens when you shoot without the bump. <laughs> if you're a lefty, <laughs> right you can... Face. You can have an association with empty brass. <laughs> I, will be, I will be owning one of these with uh, Which is the not A2 fun. style. What A1 is style, what's the story behind this muzzle device? Is that well, why? Is, because this is they, to get the this is to get the barrel long enough yeah, to be okay. legal. It's a pin and weld. This is pin and weld. And yes, what, what okay. is this? Ten ten and a half, ten inch. Um, that one is a ten and a half inch ten barrel. And a half, yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know, the other ones you'll see sometimes they're eleven, and then they'll put that on too, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit longer. But, but yeah, yeah. The, the originals that the military had were. Well, they're around ten. Quote like unquote this. suppressors. So yeah, what yeah, is right. this called, PJ? What's, this, what are we calling this guy? This is the DPMS Car 15, is what we're calling it. Car 15. Too cool. Okay, and then what's the so is this a um, oh yeah that's exactly lug? what it is bayonet lug yep. yeah so we got okay. the fixed front sight base with the mm -hmm. bayonet lug on there that break as he mentioned is a pin five and a half inch flash hider you got your traditional drop-in two-piece handguard here this model has the detachable handguard we do have our carry handle rather we do have one with a fixed carry handle um, so that is will be available as well um, and then b5 actually made this retro car 15 stock force out of fiber light so that's why it has such a nice oh. light feel mm -hmm. um, and randy luth of luth ar is making our a1 grips for us with oh. the, the notchless features you cannot get this except if you get it through dpms correct or does it have to just be on this gun or can you get this separately we actually have a lower that you can just get the car 15 okay. stock um, mm -hmm. that lower comes with our over molded panther grip on there uh, which is comfy by the way we yeah. have one here it's very comfortable yep mm -hmm. i i have a question and i know mm -hmm. i have a little more more inside information are you going to do retro lowers yes okay. indeed we are <laughs> okay so what does that mean the retro what do you mean no, by retro uh, lowers? no no bumps around yeah, here oh, the okay. oldest of the um, old had nothing oh i see yeah, it doesn't have these like finger and guard things yeah did they have ejection they, uh, teardrops well, they, didn't, back then? they didn't have this a lot of them but they would have had a teardrop or Some of them they did, had yeah. the little paddle little yeah paddle right, the teardrop yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's going to be more in our h and r line we'll have the more retro specific oh, very true that's what i'm um, down even to the anonization will be that old cold gray, gray. Color. i will be yeah. buying yep. one of those so h and r go over there real yeah. quick and grab that h and r will be uh partnering with us and some of our okay. parts we will cohabitate on okay um so some of them will have a similar look those will be more for the true diehard retro this one will be for the one that wants that look um but more price point for okay it. so can we talk about the fact that with the stuff that came over from Freedom Group, H and R came over separately, correct? As well yep. under the JJE umbrella, yes. but you guys are doing cooperative. Things, exactly. Right. Yep. Speaking yeah. of Gray, mm -hmm. this is an original Colt. Up yep. So that. So that's what you. That idea. Like. Of, that idea of Gray. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to contrast that with what we have going on here, well, yeah. It's pretty that obvious. The Vietnam hole? vintage. Yeah. The six-hole triangle hanger is a seven-hole. Mm -hmm. uh, on the bottom. Know. How many? It's on the bottom. On the bottom. Six. Six. Oh, Six. that's the real deal right there. Yeah. Yeah. Pencil the modern barrel. ones are seven. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, this is all original. Got the abbreviated, the small, uh, yeah. um, what do you call it there? <laughs> so, Forget speaking of uh, old school and new school here, uh, on the markings, is this exactly, and this is not what uh, DPMS had before, or is it? Yes. Yeah, it that's the same, okay. same logo. Yep. Okay. All same right. Logo, so, pretty much same, same markings okay. as the uh, prior DPMS lowers. Okay. Because I think one of the questions people ask all the time, and, and uh, we've talked about it since we've been out here on the range, is what came over from DPMS? Did everything come over or just the intellectual property rights to the name? 
just intellectual property rights to name the facility at Huntsville remained um, there it's still mm -hmm. vacant as mm -hmm. far as my knowledge goes so we didn't get any of the machining anything mm -hmm. like that it was just the prints uh, name rights all that stuff so you did get prints so you yes. do have blueprints yep we have all the original okay. prints and models yeah okay so we will see a lot of that old school stuff coming back and coming back faster correct because I think some people are taking a lot longer to do it because they've got to go back reverse engineer yep. yes and, and build it up what's a what's a price point on, on something like this so again on this one it's not going to be direct to consumer so mm -hmm. we're selling it out to a wholesale channel but this mm -hmm. one you'd be able to see somewhere in the ballpark of 600 to 650 dollars is what you're going to be looking at for this particular model mm -hmm. uh, one with a fixed carry handle might adjust it and make it a little bit more but that's kind of the price point we're sticking at as far as our map and everything's concerned okay very cool did you guys have any other questions on this we sh we shot uh the the kitty cat boat. yeah let's switch yeah. up to yeah. you want to switch yeah. to this yeah. one here okay here goes folks That rate of fire. That is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't put it in the right mode. Here we go. <laughs> Guess what? Not done. Here we go again. Okay, now I'm done. Yeah. The city kitty. The, the, the city kitty, is that what we're... Yeah. Okay. So the uh, city kitty here, um, that one is chambered in 5.56 as well. We are going to have a 300 blackout version, um, as well as we've been batting around doing a 9mm that takes scorpion mags. Oh. Um, possibly with an even shorter barrel. We're looking at maybe a 4-inch barrel on that one. So... Um, this one uh, we did shoot today, or we're going to shoot it and have some fun with it. Um, but this is how it comes out of the box. So right. it will have this Yankee Hill machine collapsible cool. front gas block. I like it. So this works as your gas block and your front sight. Mm -hmm. um, this one has the knurled tube on there for a nice hand grip on there. Uh, carry handle is detachable on this model. It kind of goes with the whole thing. If you want to run a red dot, pop this off, fold that down. You can run your red dot on there. But if you want to go for the old school iron sights, that's there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this one comes with a folding mech built into it out of the box as oh, well okay. as an SBA3 uh, brace on there. So all this, this is how this package would come if you went to the store and bought it and pulled it right out of the box. This is how it would come. So roughly, I know, like you said, obviously your store is going to be able to give you, uh, the price is going to vary. What um, window would this be in? For the City Kitty, we're going to be looking more in the window of the $750 to $800 mark mm -hmm. um, at, the, at the retail level. Um, but still, I think for all the features you get and the different components, um, you know, it's, it's, we discussed this off camera. You can go buy something and then dump money into it, or you can just pull something out of the box, mm -hmm. just ready to go and have fun at the range with. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, how often do people use these bayonet lugs? Because we got to I mean, that's a. I want to see the little baby bayonet. <laughs> right. I don't think right I don't on. think a bayonet will fit on this one because it's too short. <laughs> this will be the handguard be that long. Yes. Yeah. So yes. it will have to be like. Well, it can't so, go past. Yeah, get one of those little mini bayonets. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, for a model gun or something. Yeah. 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 Well, can you use that to? Does anyone have a light mount or anything? Yes. That works yeah. On there's a bunch of stuff. And okay. Back so in the it's day, still if practical. I'm not mistaken, somebody made a bipod that snapped. Yeah. Oh, cool. Back yeah. back when these were more prevalent. Now, with your seven inch oh, so barrel and a bipod, not that you could be using. You know, there's there's also crazy. an adapter you can pop on there and get you a little 1913 Picatinny yeah. in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's all sorts of stuff. A lot of people do that. A little flamethrower. Yeah. But mainly it's for it's a lighter chainsaw flamethrower. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're real excited about this one. It will come with our overmolded Panther grip as well, okay. um, yeah, as good. well as the polished cool. nickel boron trigger. Yes. So, you know, you guys are going to see in the video, we shot this full auto. It's a different <laughs> configuration. Here's some blue in yeah. on that uh, up, to, up in here from the heat. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, no. it's a lot of fun to shoot full auto if you could do that kind of thing. Um, I haven't had that much fun in a, in a You know, while. growing up, I, I thought the 90s aesthetic was stupid as a kid. Mm -hmm. But as I get older, the more I look back on these very fondly and go, that looks cool as hell. 
-hmm. Like this here, I'm gonna have to own one because it yeah. is super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Walter's just got a very smug smile on well, his he's, face. Walter's right been now. around way longer <laughs> than I have. <laughs> okay, that's the '90s. The he 90s. thinks because he thinks that's old. That's that, that is old to me. I was <laughs> five, so there was a time when nobody would wanted this stuff like this. Correct. Because yeah, it was just, and then everybody went triangle handguards, big gaudy. Yeah. Qu everything quad, quad rail rails. Now it's yeah. back slim yep. and a retro. Yep. So, you know. Retro. Yeah. It's come full circle. Yeah. 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 Everything. Always, keeps things always up. do. Yeah. So. Coming back around again. So with the new DPMS, um, yes. there's a lot more parts available, right? So Correct. all of these parts on here available separately or not? Um, right now they're not. So we do mm -hmm. have this option as a complete lower. Mm -hmm. um, we will have also the upper as a complete upper available that you can buy separately. Mm -hmm. um, the Car 15 stock is made for us exclusively by B5. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what comes on there. On the non-city kitty, it'll be more like the classic kitty. Okay. Um, it's gonna have a very similar profile on the brace. Quick question, <laughs> and I, I don't wanna go too deep, but fiber lay, that's the old material. That's not in the plastic that we're Correct. It isn't modern stuff. Right. This is little, what would have been correct for yep, the time. Yep. This is okay. a little bit different. You can tell by just the it, look and feel as your standard. Poly, yeah, yeah. It has a different feel to it, and it is very light yep. as well. Um, they kind of made this as an alternative to aluminum um, yeah. to say, okay. have that same kind of feel and look mm. as a, a matte painted aluminum, mm -hmm. and it does. They yeah, did a killer it looks, job. It looks like the aluminum ones. Yep. yep. I think one of the questions we got on the podcast, and if folks want to get a lot of details, PJ actually came on the podcast, Who Moved My Freedom? And, um, I think you could probably roll in a, uh, a little, yeah. little thing here there'll if you want to go see it. Yeah, there'll be a link if you guys want to look at it. But I think one of the questions we got with the parts is, can you get those online or do you also have to go to a store? Yes, those will be available through your local retailer as well. So okay. get with them. We will have all sorts of different DPMS kits as we come out with some of our newer, older guns, mm -hmm. um, such as the G2 that we discussed mm -hmm. on the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have full compatible parts for that as well. So anyone needing G2 parts, they are coming. I promise you that. Okay. And so for, I think you said it before in another video, for the folks out there that have the old DPMS, yep. right? Obviously separate company. Uh, are you guys doing anything to help out folks that have issues? Yes, we are. Okay. So those people, we're not, uh, since we didn't manufacture the original product, we don't really are, we don't have anything to do with that warranty, mm -hmm. but we are still helping them and, and reaching it. They're reaching out to us and mm -hmm. we're taking care of them. So if okay, you do cool. have issues with your previous DPMS, you know, you can contact us directly. Mm -hmm. um, if you go on to Instagram, go to Panther underscore king underscore actual that is my uh instagram account you can dm me there and uh, i'll be more than happy to help you out and get you squared up okay very cool walt so you're yes. the old school guy here oh, you keep oh, using that word <laughs> he cringes every time <laughs> but really though i think you know that's he's been around these a yeah, lot longer than yeah. we have i think you were telling me the other day you remember dpms like way back in the knob creek days well, so. they used to come to Knob Creek when mm -hmm. it was Randy Luthen Company running things before mm -hmm. it went to Freedom Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, selling parts and pieces and yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. yeah so what do you think, man? Uh, you know, are you glad to see this? You well, know, I'm glad to see this stuff, stuff back. back. Okay. Yeah, the mm -hmm. more the traditional retro kind of stuff. I mean, everything has went kind of, you know, uh, um, metal handguards <laughs> out front. All everything, a lot of things look the same. You know, mm -hmm. very similar. So, so it's good to see some of this stuff back. More mm -hmm. traditional stuff, and teach some of these younglings where things came. Well, from. why was it practical, right? Why does why does it why does it work for folks? Mm -hmm. You know, why yeah. was it used like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, th this this you don't have you know you this? don't have to have a gun with every conceivable <laughs> accessory attached. To the see, thing. see, I was just about to say this. What this needs is a surefire handguard from the '90s with the big old surefire sticking off. Uh, it needs to look well, like well, well, something yeah, crazy. I, how about a Knight's Armament yeah. one on there from yeah. the, Okay, so anyways. Yeah. Yeah. How about a big massive laser? <laughs> yes. No, one of those ones that was like over the top. Yeah, yeah well, I'm on it. Because it's a movie the, gun. I'm with it. We're talking about that Surefire with a flashlight in it. Yeah. 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 Those yeah. things were huge. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, remember batteries. Yeah, battery had tech a D -cell, has changed. D-cell battery. Yeah, you, need exactly. the, you need the old school handguard like this. Mm -hmm. With a Seymour on the top. There yeah, you go. there you go. Those are actually pretty awesome sights, by the way. So yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. I so, might have to make a retro out of this. We'll find yeah. find the old parts, find the the Seymour, find yeah. all that stuff. I mean I think you were find saying this parts. is like a movie gun, right? This was in heat, you were saying? Uh yeah, this I think this is the one uh, Val Kilmore had something just like this in heat mm -hmm. in the shootout scene. And by the way, movie highly recommended. I'm not a movie goer. 
Yeah. Highly recommend that movie. So that's the number one gun guy movie. Yeah, Very fantastic. realistic uh, gunfighting. <laughs> maybe you were asking about this. So. Yes, correct. No, no bumpy dumpy yes, thing. Yes. Yeah. And teardrop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, teardrop. Yeah. All right. So any questions that you want to ask the DPMS guys here in this video? Okay, ask with the AK stuff. Will there be a, 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 bow bear, a, bow, a Bones Bear version of the AR-15? I've seen some manufacturers selling yeah. stripped, upper, like a stripped barrel, version, and yeah. then you fill in the blanks with all your stocks you want and stuff? Yeah, and that's kind of why we offer, um, we're going to offer the stock by itself, the grips by itself, um, just the complete lower, complete upper separate. So that way, if you want to pair it with something else, you can, you have that option. Mm -hmm. um, but we will have the uh, different components. This brake also will be right. available uh, yeah, separately. Because yeah. so. it is kind of a Lego Correct. For, for big boys. So, yep, um, yeah. you know. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the things, there may be some, this is probably the last thing, but I think it's good to cover. There may be some folks out there like, well, that's, you know, that's a very similar thing to PSA. What would the difference be? I think that's what we've been discussing, right? The mm -hmm. difference would be that really right now in PSA, you can't find these cool Correct. old school things as much, right? Correct. So you guys will be the place to go and get that, and then it's going to be accessible to folks directly through their FFLs. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then once we have the uh, fixed carry handle uppers going full mm -hmm. force, um, that's really going to play an integral role because uh, PSA just offers the detachable. Mm -hmm. um, and some people love that flexibility to be able to put an optic on it and take mm -hmm. that carry handle off. Mm -hmm. But some people, the true retro people, mm -hmm. want that to be fixed yeah, on there. Yeah, because yeah, this this doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> for true retro. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Or if uh, people do reenacting, people you know vehicles yeah, stuff like that. You yep. know, yeah. people that were in Vietnam. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that are uh, mm -hmm. veterans and stuff. They want the rifle like they had. So. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the nostalgia of it, yeah, I think, is yeah. a big deal. Absolutely. So awesome, man. Thanks a lot for telling yeah, us that. You Appreciate know, if the it. folks out there want to find out more, where do they go? You know, where should they look to to find that this info? Yeah, dpmsinc.com is our website. Um, also, dpms underscore inc on Instagram. Mine is panther underscore king underscore actual. <laughs> and also dpms on Facebook, Panther Arms. Look us up. We yeah. still have that original uh, page up there as well. Yeah, that Panther King's a wild and crazy guy. Man, I hope he doesn't come <laughs> out today. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see him. We might see him here. All right, guys. Big thanks to PJ from the new DPMS Panther Arms, as well as Walter Keller of Safety Harbor Firearms. Check him out. And Patrick of Babyface P. You know, we're all on the podcast on Monday doing the free for all Mondays. And then these guys, you know, join me from here to there. If I drag them in and beg and plead, they come and do other stuff. And we have other folks that like come. Like I did on. last Wednesday with yeah. PJ. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. you guys should go check that out. We are all out of here. Yep. Make sure to check out handstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.